Dark Trooper weapon and upgrade cards were revealed today in a Scene to Stats article. My name is David Endless Zelenka, and I'm excited to go through these newly revealed cards with you today. Let's start by remembering what Dark Troopers do so there's some context for these upgrade cards. Dark Troopers can take two heavy weapon troopers and a personnel upgrade, as well as a programming upgrade. They have full armor and plotting, which means they can only move once per activation. They have unconcerned, which means they do not gain cover from any source, meaning ranged impact weapons will be excellent against them. Unconcerned also means they can't be repaired or restored by an astromech or del Miko or any other source of repair. Dark Troopers can activate twice per round with their unstoppable keyword, which means they can move twice and attack twice. So keep that in mind when we look at their weapons. Now let's look at the cards that were revealed today, starting with Programmed Loyalty. For 5 points, you can only be issued orders by a commander, and you gain Retinue Commander. I think this card is a very strong include on your Dark Troopers because it gives you a free aim or dodge if you're in range 2 of a commander rank unit. But if you teleport away from Gideon by using his 2-pip or drop off your Dark Troopers with a transport though, you might lose out on the benefit of the card. Plus, this card means you can't receive orders from an operative like Cad Bane or Boba Fett. Next, we've got the generic Dark Trooper upgrade at 32 points, adding one Dark Trooper mini. This one is kind of expensive for what it does, so you might leave it at home, but adding two Ablative Wounds as well as some attack dice might be worth it. There's been some speculation that you could take non-Dark Trooper personnel in this upgrade slot, like a comms tech or even a Viper droid from CIS, but I think it's pretty safe to assume that it won't be possible because it would make this card completely useless. So I'm not going to discuss this in more depth. While it's true not all cards are winners, that would be quite absurd if the generic was dead on arrival. Now we're getting into the weapons. First the Myrtleizer, the sword, or the cricket bat. For 36 points, 2 red, 1 black in melee, suppressive. Dark troopers with a Myrtleizer are going to be terrifying in melee. With a full complement of 6 troopers, they are swinging for 7 red, 1 black, and 6 white, averaging 7 hits in melee before aim tokens, and they can do this twice per round. Between that and full armor, they are going to mulch anything that isn't a Jedi, and even then, a Jedi will have a difficult time with them. Next weapon is the Frag Launcher, a shoulder-mounted rocket. For 40 points, 2 red, 1 black at range 2, blast, impact 2, and cycle. This adds blast and 2 red to your attack pool, which is obviously good against targets hiding in cover. I personally play a lot of Black Suns, so I can vouch for how good blast is on pools that don't surge. The only problem I see with this gun is that it exhausts, meaning you only get it twice if you spend an action to recover since the timing of cycle is wrong, and having to shoot without a heavy weapon is quite lackluster for a unit that will be very expensive. The place I could see it really shining though is shooting off a disembark while setting up for a melee later. Lastly, we have the Assault Cannon. For 48 points, 4 black, crit 1. Not too flashy. I think this upgrade is quite good. It's flexible because of the critical one which Dark Troopers want because they don't surge, and it breaks through cover and armor. The Assault Cannon also has range 3, which is what you want if you're taking Dark Troopers without a transport. It'll let you attack something sooner because Dark Troopers are so slow, you want them to shoot as often as possible. I think my favorite build with Dark Troopers so far is Assault Cannon Myrtleizer Programming coming in at 184 points and looking like a solid all-around heavy unit. It does damage comparable to Shore Troopers at range 3, it can smack stuff around in melee, and it has 10 wounds behind armor and red defense dice. In the future, I'll be doing a Legion Strategy Talk episode covering Gideon and the Dark Troopers once they're released. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Endless5055. Thanks to all my patrons on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash yavinbase, and I'll see you all next time.